Hey, what's going on guys? Saad here and in this tutorial, I'm gonna talking about the table and list. So, a quick tip for you. First, I'm gonna show you the table. You know, you've seen uh, many websites, the tables, right? So, this is what table does. Uh, just you need to do is, first, uh, I'm gonna show you some magic with the emit. So, yeah, you, you have to install emit do that I already told you in the plugin section to install it so first uh, there is a table tag which implies that you are creating a table after that what I'm gonna do is pass a bracket and inside that I want TR which means literally means table row so how many row you want so you you want if you want uh, play so f first I'm gonna show that uh, it has a table data called and if you want table data you know the columns so you need to type T D for that and into 3 and you need uh, for the other slide so what you need to do is into 5 into three so three tables and three rows so as you can see there is tables and rows and now uh, you need to put uh, data inside that so what you need to do is first name and last name And this will be age. This is something like Shad uh, Ali. Yeah, my last name is that. Is that a problem? Yeah, and I'm 18. Yeah, I'm 18. And something like John Doe. The, to be other, another person and it will be one, one we can add something like uh, his age like 34 so now you can see it's a table now so if you want some uh, lighting to it I mean CSS I will teach you that that later but uh, uh, there is an attribute called style so what you need to do is just type style and weed equals 100% you need to pass percentage so here it's now total 100% so this is what it does and this is how easy it is to deal with and uh, now next thing is we we they, they, if you want first line to be a heading so you can do this by you know just uh, uh, you know use the, instead of using td you can use tr i mean th which means table headings so table headings make uh, h1s you know the, uh, we already talked about so it uh, literally makes you a bold later of that so you can realize that yeah it's a heading so so when we do that you can see these are bold these are h6 literally just name is different and this is what it does and uh, next thing we can do is uh, we, are, we are gonna learn about the uh, what we call list so there are many types of list uh, first I'm give I'm gonna be begin with the uh, uh, ordered list I guess no I'm gonna begin with the unordered list so the, uh, the syntax for that is ul so ul which is the ordered list and in the list you want how many elements will be inside that so just you need to do this and you need to press li and how many you're gonna want to ally so let me think to be three 
I just, just press tab. When we're done with that, just do one after one. So, copy. Next will be T. And, and now you guessed it, milk. And you can see this is uh, an order list now. So the and then there is something called uh, there are specification of list. It has an attribute called style. Yeah, as similar as you know the table tag. So style, and you can specify each and every style of that. So the style type will be you can you can directly give like so you can give this that will be a works too so uh, the, the truth is you can you need to specify a good uh, you know say, uh, CSS so list uh, list style type will be disk so see it's a disk now you can change into a circle so circle and boom now it's circle now you can specify there are others like square uh, you can check it on the documentation you will find there are many of them you know I can't specify each and every thing so square and if you pass none if we back to none see there are no so this is what it does and now we we gonna uh, now we gonna move to uh, audit list so first we gonna remove all of that and for audit list you need to pass ol and you need to pass the li same as before and how many li you want so i want four so tab see how is it uh, coding now nowadays so if you pass now coffee p cola and milk and when we do that it will give you by default it will give you numbers and you can see that you can't select these numbers because they are specified by those so there is a way you can do change these things there is an attribute called type so type and you can specify type like one it will be give you a number which is by default and number so you can pass a which is give you a big letter a uppercase a and you can pass smaller case a which will give you a smaller case a so and if you pass i it will give you a roman number so i so it's now roman numbers now and if you want something lower case no number so i so this is what it does and as simple as that and there is something called description list so it it is specified by the dd and dl and dd so first dl specify that it's a description list like the table they specify the it's a table and uh, second is dt which specify the term is that is a name or not and the third is dd which is the full description of that so first we need to do this is uh, how many we need so uh, first dl and we will pass that after that we will need dt2 dt into 2 Uh, just cover with bracket so you can use that properly and you need 
another thing called D T. So and again you need to pass inside a bracket and press into two. When you're done with that, just press tab, you will get those. Simple as that. So I make a mistake, I guess. Yeah. I just forgot about that, you know. It's not a big deal. So yeah. And you will pass uh, in the DT you need to pass uh, something called hot copy something like that coffee and you need inside the uh, DD tag you need to pass description of it so the DD will be like black hot coffee When we do that, it will give you the number, uh, DT, and its description. So I'm not gonna fill up all of those, but just I will give you the idea of what that is. So that's it for today's video, guys. See you guys in the next tutorial.